What up guys? Another video today. Today we have ourselves the Real Steel Luna. Got this through uh, White Mountain Knives. This is the yellow color one. And that's the stock number. I guess that's my serial number. And uh, made in China. So uh, let's get this guy open and uh, see what we have here. So I got this guy through White Mountain Knives. Um, I think right after I purchased it, they sold out. I didn't really do too much research on it. It was pretty pretty inexpensive. I think this guy ran about 40 bucks or so, or maybe a little bit under. So it's made in real, by real steel, and I guess this is the color options they come in. Uh, wow, that white one looks pretty nice. I'll opt up for the yellow. Doesn't have too many on their side. You can go ahead and pause that if you want to read it. And they got the specs too. So, um, seven, seven inches open, I think, or seven and a half, maybe. Right, let's pop it open and check it take a look. Yeah, so a lot of good knives come out of China lately, you know. There's um Wee Knives, Civivi, Kaiser, all that good stuff. So um let's go ahead and take a peek at this. So I think this is a slip joint. Oh yeah it is. There it goes. Didn't even do too much research on it. This is yellow. This is yellow G10. You know, the first click. It's at an angle. That's, that's odd. And then the second one. Pretty light. Uh, pretty. You can see a film of uh, oil over that guy. So you know that's going to be um, good. Let me go let this down. Yeah, notice all the knives I purchased from China. They're all like pretty heavily uh, coated with oil every single time. Not bashful or anything, you know? That's good. It's D2. You don't want it to come rusted or anything like that, you know? So it does have a lanyard. Lanyard hold. Deep carry pocket clip. It's G10. Oh, pretty good. Feels pretty good. You can open it here. You could use your nail if you wanted to. Uh, one nail. You could probably use your index. Yeah, you could use your middle index too. You don't necessarily have to um, do the other one. But not too bad so far. Uh, I like it. Sorry about that. That's my alarm going off. So let's uh, let's let's go ahead and. Uh, Measure this guy for you guys, and let's take a peek how that goes. So, blade length, um, blade to handle is about three and uh, three quarters. Cutting edge is uh, a little bit over two and a half. Overall, here is going to be oh, look at that, huh? Six, a little over six and a half. I thought it was going to be seven inches for some reason. According to their site online. Uh, for the this is the Luna Light. In case I forgot to mention that for real steel, their site online says uh, that this guy is seven point six eight inches. So that could be a little off. What did the paperwork say, actually, guys? Did we look at that? Huh. That's odd. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. That math, close length and blade length. Yeah, if you look on their site, which I'll have um, in the bottom there. Uh, they had the dimensions off on their on their site. On their site, it says that uh, the blade thickness is 0 0.08 inches. The weight is 1.98 ounces. Uh, open length of the knife is uh, 7.68 inches or uh, 195 millimeters. And uh, blade length is 3.2 VG10, which is odd. Because I'm looking at the Luna Light right now. That, that's online at their actual site. And this is also the Luna Light, but this Luna Light is, I don't know, the G10 also. That's so weird, huh? So uh, you guys can go ahead and take a peek on yourself. It's funny because um, their specs online says the blade steel is VG10, but if you read the description, it says Luna Light. Uh, the G10 is only part changed. The blade steel is now more economic G10 tool steel. That's funny. So I guess whoever uh, updated the site didn't, didn't really... Remember to fix that part. Cool. So let's uh, 
Let's go ahead and weigh it real quick for you guys. That's uh, 1.8 ounces. So I'm guessing I might end up taking this pocket clip off. We'll see. I'll even the if I do end up taking it off, I'll let you guys know if it was difficult or not um, in the bottom of the uh, the comment. I mean, not the comment section, the uh, description part. So let me get in and pull some other ones out so you guys can compare this too. So um, I don't have too many slip joints, but here's another one. This is a Civivi um, Rustic Gent, and this is a Zero Taunts uh, Zero Two Thirty, which I really like. This is with um, S Twenty V steel. Yeah, no, 20, 20 CV, excuse me, 20 CV, which I, I really like this one so far. Here you go one. Here you go one. So I'm going to fix the, uh, for you guys, and this is the case for this one. And this is the Rustic Gent. So far, pretty cool. I like it. Deep carry clip on this, I like it so far. It looks cool. Uh, sounds sturdy. Super deep. So I'm glad I went for the yellow because you wouldn't, you would definitely wouldn't see this uh, in the pocket. Yeah, you definitely wouldn't see the yellow in the pocket. Cool. So um, yeah, well, and then I'll do a quick cut test for you guys, and we we'll take a peek there. Let me go ahead and line these up next to each other so you guys can see the thickness, I guess. them next to each other and then I'll have them about the same length same uh, same width I guess uh, the rustic gent's a little bigger yeah the rustic gent's a little bigger but the uh, the 0230 is the same so far I'm, I'm liking it guys uh, I actually purchased it not even knowing it was a slip joint I just thought since I had a pocket clip, it might not be a slip joint. But uh, you guys were interested in stuff like this. Um, the Zero Tolerance, the they have a Zero 235, I think. That's the other model. Uh, it's exactly like this, but it has a, a a drop point blade, I think. But it also comes with a pocket clip on that one. And it's a pretty small, thin pocket clip also. So in case you guys are looking at a different one. This one uses a different kind of slip joint. Not the same method as this. Where it stays locked pretty good. Uh, this one uses like um, bearings inside, I think, or, or pivot balls. And you can see in the, I can, uh, being, you see the ball right there? It's right there. It's on both sides. Right, or there goes the other one. And then they, uh, they get they get stopped with the blade right here, as it's going. It's cool because you can you can kind of fling this out, and if you want to close it, just close it the same way. So it's pretty cool. So um. Yeah, that's all I have for this. Let me go ahead and do a quick cut test for you guys, just so um, you guys can see what you're getting into. If you guys are interested in purchasing one of these, I believe the full size comes in a G, uh, the VG10 off of just what reading the specs was. But again, I didn't do any research prior to buying this. I just saw it was a good deal, and I was itching to buy something. So, it, you know, low pricing. So let me, another thing you guys want to see on the blade steel. So that's uh, real steel right there. And then um, this is the back part, the logo. And there you go, see D10, no, D2. So the cutting, yeah, perfect. So, yeah, it, it can cut, look at that, huh? Give me a little pigtail going. Yeah, it can cut, guys. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys like what you see here. If you do, give me a like and subscribe. And uh, leave a comment below if there's anything you want to have any questions about, you know? And again, uh, bottom of the description part, I'll, I'll I'll let you guys know if this is easy to come off.